What's up everyone? Today in my video I want to go over how to live your best life with an autoimmune disease. For those of you that have seen my videos before, I have multiple sclerosis and in a few months I'll be coming up on my seven years since my diagnosis. Since then, there really has been a lot of things that I have felt have helped me on this journey and those are the tips that I'm going to be sharing today with you on how to live your best life with an autoimmune disease. Over the course of the last seven years, I have been fortunate enough to have a great experience with my MS. And during that time period, I have had a lot of people reach out to me asking about the way that I manage my symptoms and the way that I manage my day-to-day -day life with multiple sclerosis. So in this video, I want to share my top three tips on how to navigate life in autoimmune disease. I hope you find these tips useful. And if you like this content, please hit that like button please comment below and please click the subscribe button. So the first tip that I have for you is listen to your body. So I know that might sound obvious, but it's a lot easier said than done. What I mean by that is you want to listen to the cues that your body is telling you throughout the day. If you're tired, take a nap. If you're feeling stressed, take time to sit down, put your phone down and just take some deep breaths. In the case of MS, sometimes for myself, I get what's called pseudo flare ups. And that means that I get some of my pre-existing symptoms coming back. So for example, my right leg goes numb from the kneecap down when I get too stressed or I'm overheated or something else causes me issues. So if that happens, I know that I need to alter something in my life, whether it be get more sleep, work on stress reduction, or just slow down in general. By listening to your body, it's a great first step to successfully living with an autoimmune disease. The second tip that I have is eat healthy. What I mean by that is you want to focus on eating whole foods. So you want to focus on foods that don't have an ingredient list on the back of a box. If you can buy fresh produce, fresh fruits, minimally processed meats and fish, you want to make sure that the quality of what you're getting, if possible, is to a high standard. So you want to have organic, you want to have grass fed, wild caught, things of that nature. Some of the best resources that I think out there for understanding food and for really understanding how it affects your body is going to be for individuals specific with multiple sclerosis. Dr. Terry Wall's book, The Wall's Protocol. That's an amazing read and it teaches you a lot about food and how it affects your life with MS. Also for general knowledge on what you should be eating, Dr. Mark Hyman has a book called Food, What the Heck You Should Eat. I would highly, highly recommend checking that out. If you have an autoimmune disease, which some of you may have that are watching this video, I would say check out any book on an autoimmune protocol. Those types of books are really going to give you the knowledge that you need to eliminate foods from your diet that can be trigger foods and cause you to experience issues with your respective autoimmune disease. The final and most important tip that I have for this video is have a positive mindset. When you get diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, it definitely knocks you down and that's okay. What matters is that you get back up and go full speed ahead with a positive attitude. Yes, yeah, some days are going to be hard, but if you can focus on shifting your mindset to be positive and believing in yourself that you're going to be okay and having faith that you're going to live the best life possible with your respective autoimmune disease is so important. When I got diagnosed with MS, I'll be honest, I was really hit hard. I was down in the dumps. I was 18. It was the fourth week of my freshman year of college, and that diagnosis really knocked me down. However, I took different steps to rebuild myself in order to move forward with a positive attitude. I used to sit in my college dorm room watching inspirational videos on YouTube to get myself pumped up to believe in myself going forward. With that being said, my tip number 3A is going to be do not listen to what anybody says to you about your diagnosis. People don't know how to act when you tell them you were diagnosed with an autoimmune disease or that you're living with an autoimmune disease. I've had the most absurd things ever said to me about living with MS. I've had somebody say, do you know what your children's future is going to be like? I've had other people gasp when I told them I have MS and say, do you know what your future is going to be like? That is complete nonsense. Nobody knows what your future is going to be like with MS, and it's really up to you to create your future. Focus in on the things that you can control, like your attitude about having autoimmune disease. What other people say, what other people think, they can keep that to themselves because it has no effect on you and your life. Tune them out, focus on how you want to live, and focus on the life that you want to have, and that's what makes the difference. To sum it up, the three tips that I have for successfully living with an autoimmune disease are first, listen to your body, 
Second, eat healthy foods. And third, have a positive attitude. Don't worry about what anybody else has to say about your autoimmune disease because it's your life, it's your journey, and it's your story. If you like these tips, hit that like button below, comment, and click subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos like this about mindset and how to live your best life.